Hey everyone, this is Day Trader Rockstar, and this is a market update and a stock update for uh, Friday, June fourteenth. And man, what a, uh, a crazy couple days we've had recently. We started off the week on Monday. We had, um, you know, we actually take a look at the daily chart right now. We can see a series of flags building up here, and what this came out to be look, looking like was a uh, a nice flag that was uh, that was forming in the markets and then on Monday basically made that breakout and we started breaking out we started getting the crossover this all started with a what we call an HPS setup where we have a dual stochastic daily 60 setup a lower trend line recognizable pattern holding the 50 period moving average now you know it's it played out perfectly you know bounced right where it wanted to bounce you take a look at that 60 minute chart you could see that the 60 minute chart was really key on that bounce and this is what we're looking at before then we're going to get to today's markets and stuff but this is really what we're looking at um, how the markets kind of reacting up into that level I'm just gonna zoom this out of here so you can see this a little bit better and this is where we came down to it and I said alright here's your one two three pattern your one two three and you just you know, draw that top trend line and you, you know and when you have a one two three you take that lower pivot area of a trend, a trend change it's usually uh, when you have a trend change, it's that it's that lowest low before the trend change, or as the trend tr trend is changing, excuse me, and the high and the three pivot areas. And here you have a recognizable trend line. Here you have one pivot area, but you draw a parallel line. And right, you know, basically, we traded the 60-minute chart throughout this pattern. We do this every single day, and the 60-minute chart has been given constant, you know, good signals for you know move up, move down, bounce back up oversold trend line you know pull back down 200 period moving average you know oversold stochastics bounce back up and then we kind of we failed here we pulled back down to the you know but we push up to the 15 we always pay attention to if we make we don't make that full rotation so we actually did see some selling coming in here and and um, we sold right off into that lower trend line and at this point you know it was pretty good because we were able to actually take advantage of that market at that pullback. It was pretty comfortable with that 60 daily setup. And this is before this flag even broke out. And it it worked, it worked out um, pretty much perfectly. It just it bounced back up. It actually started getting embedded here, and we actually pushed a little bit higher. And then um, Monday came up. That was Monday. And then Tuesday actually had to uh, be outside the markets. And I wasn't even, you know, I wasn't even really in touch with the market. So I came back on Wednesday, and we saw that we did cross over, and the daily is the key here. We're gonna uh, zoom in, and you can see that crossover there, and that daily, and that smackdown, and that that was yesterday. And you know, going into that, there was a couple of things. The neg negative negative uh, crossover was here. The pattern was still intact. The 50 period moving average was intact. But the only reason I'm telling you all this is because. Even having a day off in the market and seeing the pullback, I was a little, I was questioning, you know, because we had that crossover, I was questioning, you know, if the market was actually going to break down here. Normally, but it hasn't broken down. It didn't break down. Everything looked fine. But it just shows you that sometimes you think, you, you don't think, you don't take a look at the, the overall patterns playing out. This was a perfect divergence. The 60 minute pulled back. We stayed higher than the recent low. It's really cool. It's what I call a playbook play. It's a channel breakout, the first stochastic rotation on the 60 minute chart. And that represents a breakout of the channel. The first rotation back is the pullback, and you buy into that oversold level, and that played out perfectly today. And it's, it's, it was great to see that. It was great to see that. Um, it shows that the market's very healthy. And now we go back to the daily chart, and you can see that this flag actually looks like it has a great chance of actually breaking out. If we could break, just get, you know, we could easily get a follow through and a pop out of here and actually make a run to new highs. Um, that's definitely in the uh, in the cards here. The, the volatility in the markets, yeah, we're getting some chop around here. I'm watching that 60 minute chart because that 60 minutes is going to be overbought. Even if we get that follow through tomorrow, it's going to be a little over, you know, it's probably going to get overbought soon. So we're going to decide, you know, how we're going to play that. It's a Friday, and there's other things on, on deck next week that we have to pay attention to. But right now, you know, the way we ended today and the way the stocks have ended today, looks you know take it there's no big serious news coming from uh, the european or asian markets market has a good shot of pushing higher tomorrow it has a good momentum it, it the volume was good everything looked pretty good so we're going to break down some stocks that look great for tomorrow it was an amazing uh, day for some some stocks that just have not been performing 
in a long time. The U.S. Steels of the world, the Cliff Natural Resources, uh, you know, those basic uh, materials sector um, stocks. And today, they showed great. They showed the greatest strength. I mean, we t we tracked those from yesterday because we knew the Caterpillar was l lining up properly. So we're going to start talking about the Caterpillar trade right now. All right, here you see Caterpillar, and we're just showing you a basic chart, no lines in other than moving average and stuff. But you see the stochastics here, crossing over, crossing up today. It was embedded, but what we did notice here was a decent. This is what we call a channel, a nice uh, organized channel here. You can see, you know, just a tightening of the pattern. And we broke out of that channel. This is what we call a breakout. And this is the, really the first rotation back down here. We started getting oversold. And, um, you know, and when we look at a daily like this and we see it starts to get embedded, I kind of refer back to that 60 minute chart. So it doesn't mean you never really want to just say, oh, the six, the look at the daily here. It's oversold. Let me just get in. You always want to go back to your 60. And when you see your 60 and you see, start to see that perfect channel, then you're able to start to time your entry because if you see if this not you know might be hanging in the middle here uh, things are not that uh, very choppy you just don't feel right but you feel more comfortable as it gets down to a lower trend line from a one two three pattern so here's your, your here's your change of trend here's your three first three pivot areas draw that parallel line and when you come down to this level this is what I liked you had oversold level and that's where we got our entry on and it kind of gapped up and it got overbought very quickly and it pulled back and I said, well, we're going to watch that lower trend line, but I'm pretty comfortable with Caterpillar down at this level. We are right off of support and there's that, that parallel line and there's the line, line trend line. So very good level here to be all over um, Caterpillar. And from that, it was game on. Yesterday, we tried to do a scalp on it. Market just wasn't too, but we could feel the strength in Caterpillar and I knew that Caterpillar was probably going to go today. And, it moved. It was the first one to really start moving. It closed on the highs, and right now, even though the 60 is a little overbought, you know, there's a good shot that we could actually break out of this channel to the upside, and it's been a long time coming for a decent move here in Caterpillar. So, uh, because the daily is just getting started, you know, the daily due for a nice rotation up, or is due for a nice breakout out out here, and and we'll know we'll see how far this one could go. So Caterpillar definitely setting up. For tomorrow, I'd like to see that follow through. We had some good action in U.S. Steel, been banging the table on that. You can see the nice candlesticks. So all these basic material stocks, we call them basic material stocks. I mean, that kind of falls into a lot of different uh, categories, but stocks that deal with uh, the metals and natural resources and stuff, steel. Um, you can see a beautiful day here in U.S. Steel and a nice crossover and the momentum here really starting to drive up in the stochastics and volume. So. A lot of lot of key things here broke through the 20 we're closed at the 50 it's a good shot we get some follow through on this one too so you know it's these are very looking very very nice and um you know i'm, I'm actually and here's another you know again you can see the stochastic we could see the uh the rotation play the first pullback and getting oversold and now finally getting that bounce and holding off a recent low so everything looks good u.s steel basic materials again cliff natural resources um, that really looks interesting going into tomorrow. It's just got a double bottom bounce here, you know, two little bounces and, um, you know, coming off the lows, very, very interesting here. Very interesting indeed. And, uh, again, probably going to see some upside. I think this one has a potential of really moving higher and, uh, we had a good volume on it today. There's a recent gap way up here at $31, a train of $18. I mean, $20 is $23. The recent uh, little high here, twenty-two dollars. Not out of the question on this. Real fast. Um, so definitely in the focus tomorrow. We got we got some new positions today. Got back into Verizon. Verizon just basically on the daily uh, momentum here. We started breaking through that fifty level on the, the stochastics and really starts to build strength. And uh, you know I always like Verizon. So it's good to have a Verizon. Uh, you know pick it up when it pulls back. Now we flagged out here a little take a look at a 60 minute chart one more time and you know when we decided to get in it today it was just to pull them back a little and 60 minutes stochastics were kind of like in this zone right here so we knew we had some follow-through and again closed on the highs of the session love to get the follow-through might take some profits tomorrow um, if we get a fast profit on this and man there's a, again a lot of good setups here Apple here AAPL have a couple calls in it now and the second one that picked up today was basically just based on, you know, planned this trade out yesterday. 
Actually, me and Dak were looking at uh, looking at Apple in the off. It was kind of planned out. If any pull back on it, we're going to pull back to that lower trend line. And um, you know, with that, it pulled right down to the lower trend line and reversed, and it still has momentum. The d overall daily, you know, too big of a stock to really concern yourself with the, you know, the inverted head and shoulders pattern. I mean, you can't really time this. It could have a that right shoulder could be a, a you know a range of 50 points, and you could stay within that 50 points and still put in that shoulder. So. I liked, you know, daily is already checkmate, you know, we're already set up here. That's perfect, oversold. Now we all we had to wait for the 60. We waited for the 60 and the lower trend line. This really was a HPS setup on uh, Apple. That's why it was really in focus today. And we got a nice move and, you know, we want to see that follow through move and want to see this rotate right back up here and possibly even break out of here. So I, Apple, Apple here is still key for, you know, a further move higher. And there's many other ones there. Um, let me see if I can bring throw one more out, but all of them again will be uh, going over during the uh, show. And let me see what else we can find. One more beauty setting up for tomorrow. Oh, let me let me tell you about the ZNH. ZNH, you know, the Nikkei was down, the Shanghai was down. Asian been getting hammered, and our good old China Southern Airlines. Is a stock that I uh, I trade every so often. I use this one a lot with the stochastic uh, setup. Normally, it doesn't get embedded. I can't remember the last time it really was embedded, but it does give you good just areas when it does get oversold. It tends to bounce off of these levels, and you can see each each time we had uh, an oversold level, the bias was you know even though they did chop around here qu quite a bit, you know the overall trend at that point. You know, was towards the upside. The overall trend here was uh, up. The overall trend was up. The overall trend was up. Even uh, this one seemed like it was very choppy and dropped out. But from this point on, but we're, again, we're back down here. And what you know, and you can see this is embedded now. So at this point where we're oversold, this thing really got smashed. So why did I look at it now? You know, because there's an underlying channel line here, and that's what was really looking good. Um, and there's a the kind of a support line back here. So both of these things, all this adding up into a really good level right here. So I wanted to start picking this up. Now we're you know, up to 200 shares and ready to rock this thing. I expect this thing to gap up tomorrow above $23 and we'll take profits into it and possibly could make a mere move. I mean, Asia should get a nice rebound uh, tomorrow. And uh, if we do, we're definitely probably going to see some upside on this one. This one's overdue. Had a nice day today. And we added to it today, so we had a nice profit on it today. 60-minute charts extended. Um, but again, we'll see what happens with the gap tomorrow. So that's also a very cool-looking stock. One last stock I want to talk about is uh, MasterCard. Perfect pullback. This one probably one of the best bets for tomorrow's follow-through. Probably going to get a nice follow-through. Also kind of chopped around here. Started crossing back over. Aggressive cross-off. Real clean breakout of the flag and a flag like this usually gets a two-day breakout so I have a feeling this one actually ha could have a huge day tomorrow we're talking you know a, a 50, you know 10 15 point day again you know very possibly it could could have one of those days so a uh, master card a picture perfect flag holding that 50 period moving average you know choppy everything looks great going into tomorrow definitely will be uh, on top of that and uh, that's about it so I just want to get this fast update out tomorrow markets look good markets look uh, healthy and uh, with that said you gotta I guess look for some more upside tomorrow because of uh, how we closed today volume was okay um, let's uh, let's pick it up tomorrow Friday all right take care everyone have a good night and hope this uh, finds you tomorrow